Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson of learning Japanese. In this video, we are going to be covering the Hogen of the day. And Hogen, as we should know at this point, means dialect in Japanese. If you aren't too familiar with the concept, we have an introduction to Hogen video that you should uh, maybe check out before watching this in case you want some context on uh, Japanese dialects in general. Moving into the more specific topic of this video, the Hogen that we're going to be covering today is the phrase shitake. Shitake! 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 So shitake is a phrase that is Hokkaido Ben and it is commonly uttered in the currently airing anime Boku Dake ga Inai Machi. Shitake! And due to this relevance, we are going to cover the phrase and get some more contextual information on the word. So as we hear the phrase shitake in the anime Boku Machi, pretty much every single utterance of the word is the word being used by means of its second function. So what I mean by that is that shitake actually has basically two definitions and the one that's being used in the show um, the most if not all the time is the secondary one, the one that came into relevance later and that definition is just going to be basically a farewell salutation. If we were to translate shitake into English, it would simply translate to something along the lines of bye or see you later. And so if we want to compare this particular definition to say standard Japanese, perhaps a complementary phrase would be something along the lines of dewa or ja, in which those two utterances, dewa and ja, literally translate to basically then or well then or so, but the intended meaning is more something along the lines of well then, if that's all, I guess I'll be leaving now, something along those lines, and that's why it's used as a farewell salutation. So that's shitake as it's used in Bokumachi. Uh, characters will frequently just say it when they're about to part ways with the person they're talking to. And just a tidbit more context on this Hokkaido Ben phrase, shitake is used in this manner as a farewell greeting. Uh, mostly amongst the more younger people of Hokkaido. It's kind of a thing that's picked up lately because it's pretty much taken over the original definition that the word had that we are now going to discuss. Well, not so much taken over so much as adjoined another definition to it. But in any case, let's delve a bit deeper into the history of the word and discuss its original definition. So before young modern day Japanese speakers started using shitake as a way to say bye or see you later, the word was originally used to mean and then or so. And this might be a bit confusing because we did pretty much define the bye slash see you later definition as and then and so as well. But with this usage here, it's actually going to be used as those literal definitions. As in, you're talking about something, uh, then you say, and then this happened. And there's going to be no nuance of goodbye or see you later or I'm leaving now in that. It's just going to be a regular sentence in which you're talking about something. And so with this more original definition to shitake, the standard Japanese counterpart that will match this is the phrase soshitara, which as you could probably guess also translates to and then or so. So we didn't provide an example for the other definition of shitake, the one in which people are using it to say goodbye and see you later because that is kind of a standalone phrase in it of itself. In the anime Bokumachi, it is often used as a one-word sentence. Shitake. 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 But we'll provide an example sentence for this more original definition because it is uh, more in line with grammatical usage and it is a part of a sentence along with other elements. So for example, say we have the line uh, Kino supa ni itta, shitake goto ni yarareta. What this line will translate to is Yesterday, I went to the supermarket and then I was robbed. So let's do a quick breakdown of the sentence just to make sure we're getting everything that is going on here. First word up, kino means yesterday. Supa is going to translate to supermarket. Ni is the particle uh, denoting the destination of the going verb which is about to appear, which is the verb iku in its plain past form, itta. Uh, then we have the period, that's the first sentence in the line. Second sentence, we start with our word in discussion here, shitake. Uh, then we have the comma, we have the word goto, which is going to be robber. We have the particle ni marking the robber as the indirect object. Then we end the sentence with the word yadareru in its uh, plain past form, which means to basically to have suffered damage or to be deceived. And so again, all together this will translate to yesterday I went to the supermarket and then I was robbed. So we see here how the phrase shitake is actually serving to literally mean and then something happened after the thing that I just talked about 
and not so much as a farewell salutation such as, uh, well then, I guess I'll see you later, um, yeah, something along those lines. So again, this is pretty much the equivalent slash counterpart of the more standard Japanese phrase Soshitara, which also means then and so, something along those lines. And this is the more grammatical usage of the phrase shitake. Uh, how it's used in the anime Bokumachi is uh, more of a kind of slang that was developed by the youth of the time. And so it just came to be used as a farewell greeting as it is used by many of the characters in Bokumachi. Shitake, Hiromi! Mata ashitane! And so yeah, those are pretty much the two definitions of the phrase shitake, the Hokkaido Ben phrase shitake, which you probably won't really hear anywhere else um, unless you're talking to somebody who is from Hokkaido who isn't in Hokkaido at the moment of your conversation, and yeah. So this has been the Hogan of the day, and uh, now that there's not much else to say, I guess all I can really say now is shitake. Shitake! Mata shitana!